the three favorite websites that I enjoyed looking at during this module were the Kia website, the IXL website, and the Teachers Pay Teachers website. Um, the Kia website I thought was really amazing and something very beneficial that is something I might possibly use once I become a teacher. There's so many different things that you can do on that website for your students and it allows you to track and monitor their progress and see what's working for them and what's not. Um, IXL is something else that is really beneficial for kids and also allows you to do the same thing by monitoring their progress and seeing what they're struggling with. Obviously, you can do the same thing with paper and grading their homework and things like that, but monitoring it on the computer is something that, like you could have the graphing, I don't know, it, it would just be simpler, I feel like, because it can all be maintained on your computer. Um, the Teachers Pay Teachers is something that I was looking up for the website for myself, and it's a really nice website too because you can print things off of it to use in your classroom. Some of the things that you can print off are free and other things you have to pay a little bit for, but there's tons and tons of stuff that you can use off of that website. And there's everything, um, all different subject areas, arts and crafts for the kids to make, um, just numerous, numerous things on that site that you can use in your classroom. All different grades so it was a really neat website to use um, I really enjoyed the Kia website the OERs I was really hesitant about it at first I didn't feel like there was probably gonna be anything for lower elementary but there there was the um, OER Commons had first grade textbooks on there. I was kind of surprised, but with as technology driven as everything is right now, it might be something that would be nice for schools to use so that we could save money in the districts. Um, I had looked into math books and that was something that was, that I found I'm a very hands-on person, so I like to have my books with me. So I would be hesitant about not having books, but if it can save the district money, it would be worth it.